In this video, I want to talk about the change of base formula for logarithms. It gives us a way from changing from one base to another. So suppose we have two acceptable bases like the, so A and B. So A is greater than zero, but not equal to one. B is greater than zero, but not equal to one. Those are both acceptable bases. Then it turns out that the log base A of X is equal to the log base B of X divided by the log base B of A. So B is your new base. You can pick whatever you want. Uh, the old operand goes on top, the old base goes on the bottom, and this gives us the so-called law, uh, the, the change of base formula for logarithms. And it's a very simple observation how this works. Like if you take log base a of x, and suppose this is equal to y, switch it to the exponential form. This would tell us that x equals a to the y. Then take the log base b of both sides of this equation. So you get log base b of a to the y. Well, on the right-hand side, the third law of logarithms comes into play where you can pull an exponent out and put it as a coefficient. So this becomes y times the log base b of a in this situation. So what you're going to then do is you're going to divide both sides of the equation by log base, uh, log base b of a. So that cancels out over here. And so then what we see is you see that y is also equal to the log base b of x over the log base a, uh, excuse me, log base b of a. So it's a it's a very quick uh, it's it's a very quick observation here that the third law gives us this change of base formula. So how does one use the change of base formula? Now, sadly, the most common use for of it is something like the following: approximate log base five of eighty nine to four decimal places. Well, you'll notice that there's no rational power of five that's going to give you hundred or give you eighty nine, right? Uh, and so you control your calculator and you're searching, you're searching, but there's no, there's no base five button uh, for logarithms. There's, you'll probably see on your calculator a natural log button, right? Those usually come equipped with a scientific or graphing calculator. You might see one that just says log, which will mean the common log, right? Uh, but there's no log base five. And so it's like, what, what do you do? And I swear it's like a conspiracy between like textbook companies and calculators that why couldn't, why do we need both buttons? Why, you know, why don't we just have like a, a log, you know, a log B X button, right? Where you type in two parameters, B and X or something like that. Uh, if it's, if the concern is, you know, space on the keyboard, I think one button would get away from it. Um, you still have to have the common log, you know, excuse me, the natural log you would need. So you need like a, you need like a base E button, which probably is already there on the keyboard. So uh, whatever, but you know, we live in these, we live in primitive times where no one wants to put a universal log button on the calculator. The change of base formula allows a convenient way to get around that because the log base five of 89 by the change of base formula, this is equal to the log base B of 89 divided by the log base B of five, for which that base can be any number you want. You could switch it to the common log, base 10, you could switch it to the natural log. And so this is actually equal to the natural log of 89 over the natural log of five, for which these are things you can compute on your calculator. Uh, the calculator, if you ask it the natural log of 89, this will be approximately 4.48864. If you ask the natural log of five, you'll get 1.60944. And then if you take the ratio of those two numbers together, again, on your calculator screen, you'll get approximately 2.7889. Of course, rounding to four decimal places right there. So that's how most students actually use uh, the change of base formula as a way of just making up for the defect of their dumb calculator. Um, what were you thinking, dexterous instruments? I don't know. Now, that's, of course, from a mathematician's perspective, that's like the most useless reason to have a change of base formula, one that can be easily fixed uh, by a competent calculator factory. Uh, really, the point of the change of base formula is how do you deal with logarithms when you have different bases? Like, what if you want to compute the expression log base 5 of 8 times log base 2 of 25, right? What if you have different bases? How do you work with these in harmony with one another? Well, honestly, you look at something like this, it's like log base five of eight, log base five of 25. Why couldn't you like switch the numbers around, right? It would be a lot easier. I mean, log base two of eight, that's pretty easy. Log base five of 25, that's super easy. Turns out, maybe you're not gonna believe me here, but by the, cha by the change of base formula, you actually are justified in moving uh, those bases around. Let me show you. So we're gonna take log base five, of eight and log base two of 25. I'm using the change of base form. I'm gonna switch it to some other base and for lack of a better choice, I'm gonna switch it to the natural log. So this becomes the natural log of eight over the natural log of five, right? So log base five of eight becomes natural log of eight over natural log of five. And we're gonna find then also the log base two of 25 becomes uh, the natural log of 25 over 
the natural log of two. And then what you can do is then you, since this is multiplication, you can swap locations. ka -ching! So you're gonna get the natural log of eight over the natural log of two. And then you're gonna times that by the natural log of 25 over the natural log of five, like so. And now looking at the first fraction, natural log of eight over natural log of two, that's the same thing as the log base two of eight. And then the second one, the natural log of 25 over the natural log of five, that's the natural log, excuse me, the log base five of 25. So what I said was actually correct. You were justified in swapping the bases in terms of multiplication. How cool is that? Uh, now two, of course, what power of two gives you eight? That's the third power. And what power of five gives you 25? That's the second power. So this product turns out to be six, something we can see, of course, when we use the change of base formula.